Vicky Nelson Wakoro demonstrates proper techniques of capoeira. Wakoro learned the centuries-old practice while living in a refugee camp in the Democratic Republic of the Congo for three years. We studied it a lot in camp since we didn't have school or anything like that. Capoeira was the only form of entertainment. Wakoro eventually was certified at level 5 Orange Cord by an association in Kinshasa, where he and a group of other Central African refugees studied for three months last year. They returned to their homeland in November and began teaching these orphans in Bangui. It's become a passion for us. Our country has just gone through a crisis, and the children are a bit traumatized. We are here to help and give them a little advice, and I think that helps to calm them down. Frankie Mongbazi's parents died several years ago. The 14-year-old arrived at this orphanage in September. When I came here to the orphanage, I found a big family. I'm happy to do capoeira with my new brothers. At the beginning, it was difficult. But the teachers come to correct us and help us to improve. The teachers say they try to impart the values of capoeira, tolerance, fair play, discipline, and respect. They hope it can help the children foster a more peaceful future for the country. In the other martial arts like Taekwondo and Judo, they hit each other. But in the capoeira, we don't hit each other. And in each round, even if someone makes a hit, you have to say, oh, he touched by mistake. You hug each other and say, excuse me, excuse me. The orphanage's director says he's noticed a difference since the kids started capoeira in November. The children were fighting all the time, they were sparring all the time, and they didn't forgive easily. I saw that with the capoeira. I saw that the children are learning to forgive each other. Reconciliation is an ongoing challenge for this country, still struggling with divisions over religion and the impact of a bloody civil conflict. Zach Badorf for VOA News, Bangui.